Hey everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. So today I'm just chilling outside a little bit while I film this intro and just enjoying the sound of the birds and just being outside because it's so pretty. <laughs> but anyways, back to business. Today I'm gonna be teaching you guys how I clean my wood pieces after I do the fluid painting and the silver leaf edging. All of that is done. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I clean it. Um, and I actually was paranoid the first couple times that I cleaned it this way because I thought I was gonna ruin my painting, but I did not. Um, I had seen other artists utilize the baby powder and clean it this way. Um, but really it was a lot of trial and error on what had worked for me. So I'm going to go ahead and share that with you guys. All right, let's get to it. Okay. So here's the piece that I'm going to show you guys how to clean. I do have the green one too. So I'll actually do both. So you can kind of, um, see super slow and then super fast. Um, basically this was you know the fluid painting that i do and it also has a bunch of silicone mixed in and that's what causes all these super cool cells well the issue is once you put resin on there resin and silicone don't mix they you know um they're scared of each other <laughs> so you want to clean all the silicone off now i'm just going to use johnson's baby pure cornstarch powder i um was very nervous to do this at first because I thought I was gonna ruin my painting and in essence I did actually ruin my first one but that's because I did not let it dry enough so key point let it dry and then wait like an extra three days so that you really know it's dry <laughs> so this one's actually been sitting for about a week because I've had so many other projects going on but some people they say that all you need is just a little bit of cornstarch but y'all, I am not afraid of this stuff anymore and I'm going all out because it cleans off and I don't want that silicone on. So I am dousing this project with cornstarch so that way there is no silicone. Now, what you do once you get that cornstarch on there, you just take your fingers if you don't want to get messy, just get a glove, but you want to roll that around in circles and then that's going to start clumping up because of the cornstarch. So it's collecting that cornstarch. So just keep working it around. My camera's probably shaking too, I'm sorry. My computer's not working, so for all my new subscribers that didn't hear it in my last video, um, my computer's not working right now, so I'm back on my mobile holding device thingy and it's just shaking with the table as I go, so I'm sorry. <laughs> but just keep working it around. Work, work, work. Work, 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 work. <laughs> okay. Oh, really rub it, rub it, rub it. Get it all in there. Every possible angle you can imagine. Back and forth, back and forth, all over the place. And if you guys notice, it looks like there's some baby powder like stuck everywhere, right? Oh my gosh, my painting's ruined. Just kidding. It's totally not. So. I have a wet paper towel now, or damp. I um, wet it and then I wrung it out. And then this, look at that. Boom, like new. So you just wanna go ahead and do that. Um, I personally would recommend doing it a couple times because on the last piece that I did, I did it once and I think I missed something um, because it was only one spot and it was like right on the edge that had um, strayed away from the resin. So I would say do it a couple times just so you know for certain that, hey, this is cleaned up um, because I really don't hate having to do extra layers of resin. I want my piece to look nice and fine. And you'll notice some of that color does come off. It's not a big deal because it, it doesn't ruin your painting. You guys can see that I'm going over it again. No ruined painting, okay? And then you can just rinse the off the side, the live edge, because that's harder to get a paper towel in. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed you guys through me doing the green piece right here, and then the purple piece again, and then the green piece again, um, and then that's it. So I just want to say thanks so much for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Y'all are amazing. And then I also wanted to um, 
let you guys know that I do have a Facebook, Instagram um, as well. And apparently, people who do craft fairs do look at your social media accounts. So, I need you guys to go like my Facebook page because I actually think that was a reason why um, I got turned down on one of my craft fairs that I had entered into because honestly, I have no Facebook presence um, at all. So, I need your guys' help with that, pretty please. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And the next step I'll do is the resining so you guys can see how well this cleaned. Um, because obviously, you know, this is all me just talking until action is put into play. So, thanks you guys, and enjoy!